Welcome back to the Engadget CES 2021 virtual show. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're back for a round table, kind of in the halfway to late halfway mark of the day. I'm Reviews Editor Sherlyn Lowe, and joining me for this Engadget round table today are Senior Editor Devendra Hardwar. Uh, we've got also Senior News Editor Richard Lawler and Video Producer uh, Chris Schott. These are familiar faces from the Engadget team. Say hello to everyone. <laughs> hello. hello. <laughs> yes, I didn't give you all a good, good break after your names to say hello there in an effort to sort of move this along. But this has been day one of CES so far. The day is not over. But this is kind of a good point, as any, to gut check and see all of the news that's been announced today thus far, we've got all of your different focus areas. We've got TVs. I know Devendra and Arla, Richard Lawler, you're both our home entertainment people. You're the experts on TVs. And we've got Chris, you're, you're our chips person, and obviously just an all around very knowledgeable person. So I just wanted to hear, you know, start. let's start with, with Chris, because we, I think, no, actually, let's start with Richard, because we rarely ever get to hear from Richard. The elusive Richard uh, Lawler, we have found him. <laughs> we have finally been able to get you down to talk to us. What just kind of stood out at you from all of today's news, Richard? The things that stood out to me actually started coming out in the last couple of weeks. We heard a lot about the TV plans from companies like Samsung and LG, uh, more recently Sony. We got a lot of micro LED, I'm sorry, the mini LED technologies coming to Samsung and LG's uh, LCD TVs. We also have the OLEDs with much better whites that will be rolling out later this year. And I think that's something that's gonna be a big improvement for people who, who buy the high-end TV. So if, you, if you're buying an OLED television, you're going to get better brightness than you've ever really seen before. And, and that was something that you had to sacrifice when you chose against an LCD. And now if you choose to buy an LCD television, you'll be able to get much better contrast than you've been able to get mm -hmm. in better in, in previous years. So, you know, it's, it's really good news for everyone. And that's before we even get to today's announcement from TCL, where their six series, all of their new six series TVs for 2021 will be 8K. Um, now, Devendra and I, we've had our, our discussions about whether or not 8K is relevant or necessary, <laughs> but it, it's certainly impressive, and it's it's uh, kind of astounding to think that you'll be able to get that in a mainstream price this year. For sure. 